Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to Minecraft. I'm on the most latest version of the game and today we're going to be taking on the parkour spiral. But not just in Minecraft. This map also exists in Defrag. So we are going to be hitting up this map in both Minecraft right now and then we're going to be jumping over to Xenotic Defrag and playing it over there. And this music is from Xenotic Defrag. So, yeah, there you go. Well, this music is from Xenotic. I'm going to restart that. This run on Parkour Spiral, I've done it a few times, mapped by Hulker. Uh, link in the description, of course, to both everything to the map on uh, World Spawn and the Minecraft map. Oh, that's a bit loud. There we go. Professional streamer. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to run through this. It should take about uh, 11 minutes, I'm thinking. Because that is my PB. In fact, let's... No PB set. What? Okay, that's broken then. So I did a run the other day on this to make sure that I can, like, clear this through. This always annoys me. Gets me every time. Yeah, I made just to make sure I could get through it in, like, a reasonable amount of time. But it will be my first run on the Xenotic version of the map. I've played it a few times, this map. Um, I've been through all of the Hulker maps and got an A rank on all of them and S rank on Parkour Egg. So that's my status for this map. It's a great map. It's a great map. Parkour in Minecraft, great thing. Um, yes, it's a phenomenal map. All of the Hulker maps I highly recommend. They're playable offline, playable online. Uh, great maps to speedrun. There's some amazing speedruns if you look them up as well. I'm mostly just going to run through this in terms of like I know where I'm going on this map. Uh, the more interesting thing I think will be to kind of compare how I get through this. Because for example here, right, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to bounce off of that. But I reckon in defrag, I'm probably going to be able to double jump off of that and get up to there or potentially up to there. I'm not going to have to come all the way around here. A one block jump, I can definitely get two blocks up there if I can use something to get a double jump. Uh, or I might even be able to like yeet it that way, which you can't quite do in this. So a one block gap, not a problem in defrag because of double jumps. Minecraft a little bit more restrictive on the movement. This bit is so difficult. This this I hate bamboo parkour. I actually practiced that multiple times on my previous run just to make sure I could do it. Figure out the route. It's it's incredible how the fastest guys go through here very much worth watching some world records of this uh, of this map of course if you do enjoy defrag um, you can check out the world records that I review every month for Zodotic defrag and uh, yeah you can check that out There's a few tricky bits on this map, but uh, in general, it's a fairly easy map. The early, the earlier hiker maps are much easier than the later ones. And this is Parkour Spiral one of three. Three is quite difficult, and the Parkour Pyramid, Parkour um, Paradise, those maps, they're difficult. This one's just awkward jump because I always want to go brown to brown or whatever. Is this cyan? Is this the one that doesn't look at all like what it is? Uh, but you don't. You go brown to green. Always gets me. Oh, 
But these maps, um, they do have their own speedrun.com world records if you try to speedrun them. It's also pretty difficult to get the S tier. You have to learn some shortcuts for the S ones. Um, took me... Ooh, I can't remember. It, it took me about a week of daily trying, and I can't remember how long in terms of time it took me to complete the um, parkour egg run, which is the only one I've got S rank on so far. But that was difficult, and it was close. And I had a couple of close runs that were seconds off, or I messed up one that was almost guaranteed to be an S rank, and I messed it up in the last section. Um, which I'm sure I'll mess up the last section. The last section on this map has a really awkward bit, just like that, but more awkward. And I am just terrible at it. So when we get there, we'll have to get through that. But so far, so good. No major fails and uh, trials and tribulations. Which is always nice. There we go. These maps are really well made. And I I personally think this one's very... Oh shit. I went the wrong way there. I personally think this one's very intuitive. Uh... There are some maps, Parkour Egg has some sections that are not intuitive at all in terms of the way that you want to traverse it. But this map I feel generally pretty intuitive. <sighs> well, um, I think I'm glad I'm playing offline because a load of my stuff just reconnected. The stream never died, so that's pretty good. So yeah, this map, uh, I think the world record is just under six minutes. It's either just under six minutes or just under seven minutes. One of the two. Um, always misjudge that. The, the single stick type jumps. It's quite difficult to see. Come on. Yeah, figuring the way around these can be kind of difficult at the start. Figuring out exactly which way you're going to go, and you're going to take some wrong directions, but they're pretty easy to remember, especially the shorter maps. It's when you start learning the shortcuts that it gets more and more difficult. But we don't need any shortcuts for this map. I can't. I don't actually think there are particularly many um, outside of glitch type shortcuts. There's plenty of slime boosting glitches which I'm not going to do. Mostly because I want to show off the difference in in routes that are valid to take in Xenotic. So slime boosting glitches to get up multiple blocks, they're fine, but we don't need them. Oh, really? Did not catch that. We don't need them in Xenotic, we've got double jumps. So, yeah. Playing Minecraft Parkour for me is strange as well because I I loved Minecraft Parkour when I was a kid playing Minecraft and then for some reason I never quite put two and two together. Then I went over to the, like I really like it and I like running and stuff. By the way, you, you die if you go down here. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, that's a trap. Uh, yeah, I never put two and two together with that. I like running in real life. I like parkour in Minecraft. And then I went to playing Quake and I just really enjoyed running around the maps and playing offline and just the movement. And I never actually went to defrag. Right, let's see. Can I get straight through? Ah, come on. I have to do this every time, even though I know it costs me time 90% of the time. Because I don't get through it first time, so it's slower. 
That was crap. You notice I have low fire burning on as well. Hey, there we go. Third time's charm. Uh, that is the same as having the smaller crosshair. That is because I want. Uh, you... So uh, if you play this on the server, there's a plugin that stops the fire as soon as you get out of lava, or as soon as you're not burning, as soon as you're not in a fire source, it will stop you burning. Uh, that doesn't work on the single player, so I just make the fire lower so that I can see. It's useful for many, um, many parkour maps. So if you are watching this and you're enjoying it, please hit the like and subscribe and all of that. Uh, hopefully that's done the thing that makes the thing go sparkly on YouTube. If you've got any advice for maps that I should play, then let me know because I do want to do some more difficult maps. Uh, not quite sure how difficult, but yeah, I definitely want to do some more difficult maps and potentially go for some speedruns on some maps. So I think if it's a map like this and I'm not doing something like uh, comparing it to Xenotic, I'll probably be doing going for like an A rank or something. At least an A rank. Depends how much time I can be bothered to put into grinding. Because the S rank, ah oh, fuck. The S rank was really tough. Like, it it was really tough. Okay. That's partially why, because I do get a bit complacent in doing things like that. It, it takes a lot of focus. It'll also be interesting to note the difference in time between the two runs. Uh, because it will be genuinely my first run of this map, which is up for now in... Uh, defrag. It'll be my first run of the map in defrag, so it'll be. A, I'll, I'll vaguely know where I've got to go, and I could do the route exactly as I do in Minecraft. But it, it'll be interesting to see what things can I just immediately spot that I can cut out, you know, and make it much shorter. Because the jump length is going to be different. Because in defrag, I'm going to just gain speed as I go, whereas Minecraft, yes, you go faster while you're jumping, like in Defrag and like in Quake, but you don't keep that speed, you only do it while you're jumping, you don't constantly gain more and more, up to an infinite amount, like you do in Defrag. If you've never played or seen Defrag before, you will be, uh, I'm sure if you like Minecraft Parkour, you will like Defrag. So, I'll explain more how that works when we get over there, into the other game. But for now, so yeah, you could do a damage boost up there. Um, but I think in defrag I will probably just be able to launch straight across. We will see. It might be a slower time because I might be going for a bunch of uh, skips that aren't possible. Because of course I know most of the skips in Minecraft. It's quite simple to see what skips are possible and what isn't. And things like that. And I know things like that little trick with the um, being unable to see where you're going. And guaranteed, first time people go through there, they're going to jump through and they're going to fall off when they go through the platform. So we're coming right up to the finish now. This is the last little bit. I'm not going to get an S rank time. Almost certainly. Hopefully I won't bugger up the end here. But things like this, I'm just going to bounce off of that leaf there in Zenotic. <sighs> so this is the bit I mean. I, I struggle with this last jump quite a lot. Um, I'm sure it's going to kill an S rank for me. And there we go with a time of 8.38 or 8.38 seconds, which is going to be... We got 13 minutes and 58 seconds. I have done that faster before. But it's still an A rank, so I'm happy with that. So can we go faster than 13 minutes? Sub 14 minutes is the goal when we're hopping into Xenotic in uh, just a second. So I will see you over on the other game.